Okay, so this is the second method. So some of you might be familiar with this. In this method, the first method that you can see in the drawings, I have used Fleming's left hand. Okay, so let's say, for example, you don't want to use your left hand, you would like to use your right. <laughs> That's what she said. So here we are going to think about, can I use a separate method to find FB? Let's say, for example, you forgot that this is FBI. And is there another method? Well, first things first, I'm going to retransfer or redraw this diagram. Okay, same diagram. I'm just going to copy it. And just to make my life easy, I'm going to not draw the entire setup, but just have the north pole and the south poles. Okay, so here will be north, thing, and here will be south. All right, so the direction of magnetic field is still the same. I'm just going to draw two arrows to represent this from north to south, not go out, south go in. Okay, inside, in the middle, there is a wire. Okay, wire here. And the direction of current is going inside. Okay, so let's think about the magnetic field of the wire. We are well informed that whenever you have a current carrying conductor, now there's a current carrying conductor, there is a force acting on the wire, but also at the same time, the wire itself has its own magnetic field. So I repeat, uh, this is a wire, it has its own magnetic field. So I'm now going to use the right hand grip rule to decide the direction of the magnetic field for this wire. Okay, for this blue, bluish wire. Okay, so current is once again going in. Ding, 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 ding. So if you remember your right hand grip rule, whenever we grip, the direction of the thumb is the direction of current. The direction of my finger curling is the direction of the magnetic field. Okay, so when you use this right hand grip method, put your thumb, follow current. Current is going inside, so good. Turn downwards. Look at the direction of your finger. Your finger is wrapping counterclockwise. Alright, so once again, this is current. Blue color is current going inside. Thumb will go inside the paper. Finger is turning clockwise. Okay, like this. So you can just draw. Lah, all right. So the magnetic field of this wire will be in this direction. Okay, so current going in, magnetic field like this. Thing, thing. Okay, if you cannot really see because it's a highlighter, I'm just going to use my black pen, I guess, or my blue pen. Okay, so this one, the magnetic field is this direction. Okay, here, the magnetic field will be this direction. Alright, so once again, thumb going in, my hand wraps in the same direction as the arrow that I'm drawing, with the thumb pointing into the paper. So I want you to think about which part is the field building each other and which part of the field is kind of cancelling out each other. If you were to this, tell me that miss, you see, oh, this part here, the direction of the arrow is the same. So if the direction of the arrow is the same, then vector, ma, magnetic field is a vector, magnetic flux density is a vector, here would be a stronger field. Okay, and you can see here uh, at the bottom position, this uh, pink color, reddish orange is opposite direction to the magnetic field of the wire. So because the magnetic field of the horseshoe magnet or the U-shaped magnet, the pink one, is opposite direction to the blue one, which is the magnetic field of the wire, they cancel out or decrease each other's magnetic field. So here is weak field. So like all laws of nature, the strong field will push against the weak field. You are stronger, ma. So the stronger field on top be like, eh, weak, you are weak. So this would be the direction of the magnetic 
force. So this one becomes the direction of FB. Okay, direction of FB pointing down because the strong field will push down against the weaker field. All right, so just to recap, the pink color is the horseshoe magnet field. Okay, there are two magnetic fields here. One is due to the U-shaped magnet. One is due to this wire. To decide the direction of magnetic field of this wire, we will use our right-hand grip rule. Now to decide or use the right-hand grip rule, we will take our thumb, follow the direction of current, so thumb will be pointing downwards, curl our finger and find it to be clockwise. Clockwise. Okay, so then you check the region. Region on top, they are both pointing in the same direction. So both the magnetic field of the U-shaped magnet, pink color, and the magnetic field of the wire, blue color, is the same direction. So here is a stronger magnetic field. Okay, down here, the magnetic field of the horseshoe magnet or the U-shaped magnet is opposite the direction of the weaker field because why? The field of a wire is in a circle. So here is a weaker field, weaker field here. These two are in opposite direction. That's why it's a weaker magnetic field. And we all know how the law of nature works. We will take the uh, stronger field, stronger field, push down against the weaker field. Ah, so that's why the direction of your FB is pointing down. Strong push weak. Okay, so because it's strong push weak, whoops, sorry about that. Because it's strong push weak, that's why you know FB is pointing downwards. Or you can use your left hand. Okay, so I'm going to provide this drawing later. Okay, so uh, I have replicated this for you. You can pause the video if you want to draw. Just to show you that you have a stronger feel here, stronger magnetic feel here. And the weaker magnetic field down here, so the direction of FB is downwards. This is actually called a catapult field. So when we talk about magnetic force, right, although we tell you on the surface that, hey, it is the interaction between a uh, magnet and current, but actually it's the interaction between two magnetic fields, where the stronger field will exert a net force on the weaker field. So the stronger field on top will exert a net force on the weaker field below. Push down. All right. So another case of the catapult field, looks like this. Okay, this is not the diagram. Huh? The difference between this diagram and the previous diagram here is the direction of the current. Okay, the direction of the current is going into the paper. That's why the force is pointing downwards. And not not pole to south pole, magnetic field is pointing to the right. If you look at this diagram, this is not pole to south pole as well, but the current, this is a big black dot. So the current is actually coming out of the paper. So if you want to use your Fleming's hand again, you can try. You see the force is pointing upwards. But another way to do this, so let me zoom in, is actually to look at the resultant field. So if you use your Fleming's, uh, Fleming's right hand grip and you follow the screen, so your thumb will point towards your face because the current is going out, you will find that your finger, again my, 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 my video is mirrored, okay, but you will find that your finger is curling uh, counterclockwise. Okay, so your finger pointing towards you, curling counterclockwise. So you can see because this one is curling counterclockwise, up here the field is weaker. Okay, counterclockwise, up here the field of the current, the wire, go against the direction of the field of the magnet. So here you have weak field. Down here the field is stronger. Not just because you see more lines, but because you can see the magnetic field lines are pointing to the right. Because again, this is counterclockwise. Okay, so pause the video if you want to see this diagram, but check out this one. And make sure you understand that whenever we talk about using Fleming's left hand, it's just like a shortcut for us to decide, hey, where's the direction of the force very quickly without actually considering its fields. But having a deeper understanding of how the field is and the fact that this force is due to the interaction in the fields will allow you to actually uh, set you up better, especially when you want to learn more magnets, higher level in uni, because that is what we have in mind for you. 
All right, so pause the video at any time if you want to draw this in your notes. And uh, that's it for the current balance. If you find this helpful, um, please like and subscribe. I will see you in the example video. And uh, make sure you recommend our videos to your friends so that we can all help each other study online at home. All right, so thanks for your support and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.